eating this cake now. It's insane. It tastes also very homemade. Mmm. Really nice. So good. Yeah. It's amazing. I don't know. I think it's so fun. It's too far hard to cut it though. You need some support. <laughs> it's not a it's not a clean business, but it's amazing. You have to work for it. Ici c'est pas de la hype, c'est pas gris de réac, de gros réac ici. So we don't want to spend more money and there are no scooters left. I'm just gonna sit on this beautiful bike on the back of it. Try free it says and it's forbidden so but let's try. Sunday morning we've been to dinner with friends yesterday um, to an Israeli restaurant and afterwards to a club uh, which is called Carmen and they were playing like uh, downstairs some electronic music which was super cool and I haven't been out for a while but I'm staying here with my friend right now uh, because my flat still doesn't have a couch but other than that I have everything now I'm still so smashed it's 1 p.m. and the heaters don't work in this flat so it's a beautiful flat but not heated yet because I do not know if they are scared of the inner energy crisis or whatever but they don't turn the central heating on so this is why I'm sitting here with three sweaters and like full Uniqlo guys just to keep a little warm and then I need to go to my apartment and I want to sleep there finally but yesterday night was insane I saw one of you guys there watching my videos. Very good. confident that um, with my list of two or three pieces and I just realized I literally don't own anything and need everything from a knife to a um, bottle opener to a... Uh, I'm a bit overwhelmed right now. I was actually going to question how I think I'm going to carry all of the stuff, but I just stopped questioning. I'm just adding stuff on top because I need the I need the shit. 
mm, maybe I will call an Uber. Um, but the question is also if I have an Uber, I will have to carry it to the car out of the store. I don't know how. I don't know. Uh, that's a problem when you decide to do everything on your own, to be honest. It's cool, it's cool but it has its price. But it's fun though. district to live in full of drug dealers and prostitutes but it's fun though it's never boring so now I'm stepping home I haven't been home for a few days so I just hope I didn't get robbed It's horrible, honestly, but we're gonna eat it because we are hungry. So I, we, I ordered two cheeseburgers. This lady is eating one cheeseburger with pommes frites and she's making fun of my hair because she said it already looks like pommes frites. I should not have ordered many more. Yes. This is so good. No, it's honestly, this is like the toxic friend you have in your life. You want to keep out of your life, but you keep letting them in. That's, that's McDonald's. I just decided I should try to get some clothing hangers. Um, the guy with the second delivery hasn't arrived yet. I know it's a bit critical because he could arrive when I just left, but I'm pretty sure um, they're gonna call me before, like the last one did. Now I just got out and I'm trying to find a monoprix or monoprix, you know, like these places that are like half supermarket, half uh, home stuff, a bit clothing, like a bit of everything. And they have it uh, here around the corner, but this one is more like a supermarket and not like uh, the one where you can't find too much stuff for your home and as I cannot actually buy like very basic hangers because you know me uh, well or very basic ones but uh, yeah I'm Did sure I will not find it but I don't want to sit there doing nothing even though I could edit my videos all the shops are still closed but I'm sure that one is open I'm trying to be really quick Okay, no home stuff here. Uh, it's just drugstore things. I just saw the upstairs, which is for homeware. They must have them here. Uh, here. Are they okay? Wooden ones. Ah, these are nice. These are nice minimalistic. Looks like from the laundry. I'm running around Paris with cleaning stuff. I don't want to believe it, but I just paid 17 euros for one piece of uh, cleaning stuff for the wooden ground you know which is usually like three bucks anywhere else but here no but the main reason why i love my district is it's 10 a.m and prostitution is going on already so this is a very old uh, district of prostitution actually and the one of a kind usp here is they're all like above 60 years old Cool, huh? So it's been two weeks I've been in the apartment, but 
the neighbor's electricity company cut off my wires and now I have to go again to the company I have my internet with and I hope they're going to give me a wireless router, router so I can uh, have internet and work also from home. So guys, it's finally 7 p.m. No, 6.30 p.m. Uh, I'm waiting for my mattress still. Internet I have, electricity I have. I'm letting my duvet breathe, which I just got from an Ikea city, which is pretty cool. We have like little Ikeas here where you can grab the most important things, like not big furniture, but smaller things. Uh, I got a duvet, a um, pillow. I look like shit, sorry guys. I was looking for very small glass, like this is the glass shape I love. I wanted to have these in very thin. This is the poor people version. Um, I think six of them cost five euros, not gonna lie. But the ones I actually wanted are, um, oh my God, my face just dropped. The ones I actually wanted are like nine euros each, which is also fine, I might get them also uh, but these uh, were just like for the sake of an urgency i'm editing my fashion week video now like this is the place i sit and do everything uh, and i realized that it's actually pretty dark in here with the spots i mean overall not a huge spots fan but i'm still surprised for having that many spots that it's pretty dark so i will definitely have to get a um a standing uh, lamp or something which is actually pretty nice i think if you have a couch Guys, won't believe it. It has arrived. It has arrived here. The lady we've been waiting for all day. Okay. Is this made of egg? This is funny. This is funny. It's literally vacuumed. You just realize, okay, it's fucking heavy. I will let it breathe. It's creepy though. But it's my bag. I will rearrange these things now in the kitchen. Uh, wash a few things. Yes, and then let's start rearranging. Because this place needs to get cozy soon. Because it's a bit like a vicious circle if you... Uh, stay somewhere else all the time because it's not cozy you uh end up kind of never rearranging your place so oh someone has a nice tulip table i don't want to film okay so hi guys i just came into the apartment as you have seen today by the way i'm wearing like a top from studio nicholson and the two temp pants and a fucked up face because i'm destroyed which is okay uh, I'm gonna show you what I got. This is a different kind of haul today. So I got these, this thing here. I got two of these. I think they were two euro fifty each. Then I got this one here for cooking for sauces. I just bought two. It's like the a bit sweeter. I'm gonna take you closer. Like why have I put this phone um, like five hundred kilometers far away? I don't know. So let's have a look. I think this one, yeah, um, without the top, it's, I don't know, 12 euros, and with it's 13, 16, and I was like, okay, sometimes I might need it. I think they look pretty chic and cute, yes, so I got this one uh, for the sauce, because since I don't have a clue, uh, like, it's not that I cannot cook, to be honest, I can cook, I always say I cannot, but I can, um, I just don't want to it's you know all the people who are not talented and say that they just don't want to but they actually could if they wanted no but honestly like I grew up in a Turkish household I better can cook um, yeah and uh, my mom better don't see these ones because she will die that I got those cheap things um, yeah and this is the bigger one and I just oriented on what I would need to create a pot of pasta. So I would need this for the pasta, this for the sauce, this for eating, and because actually I have to say like forks and knives and stuff are very important to me in terms of aesthetics, so it's like really important. I don't even know where in this flat I put this stuff. 
Here's the fridge. No, there is no space for it, to be honest. I need to uh, recreate it. And wow, no, everything's empty. So I bought something, which is funny because I love the IKEA names, the Scandinavian names. It says um, Mopsig, which means something like a bit like fatty, but in a cutesy way. These were five euros for like 16 pieces. It's not the ones I'm going to keep forever, but beware of pieces you get like in the short run when you're like, oh, I'm going to buy something cheap. And in the long run, I want to buy something proper because usually you tend to never buy it and then you keep up with this shit. I hope I will buy other stuff, but I want to watch them because my pasta, of course, I need to eat with something, but it's um, when it comes to forks and knives, to be honest, there's this German brand actually like honestly 16 pieces five euros it's okay like i'm kind of not mad okay here they look better than the 30 euro one. Oh no they actually look used is this possible okay they look really really trashy like i guess like the just the material to produce this is probably two euros so it's probably not oh my god like this really looks cheap as hell and I have like black stains on my hand honestly I don't know if I can use this okay guys don't buy the five euro forks and knives from Ikea they're weird but then since I love design like I think this is the almost the one of the most expensive pieces that I got it's just beautiful I think it's like a special design at Ikea but I thought this is something that can also I mean it's not an accessory come on but uh, I just thought since I might keep stuff, I can also buy nicer things. And this was 20 euros, it wasn't cheap. Um, but I got this. Then I got this little bowl here for if I have for salads and stuff, like a basic thing. I wanted to stay monochromatic and also like only with chrome shades, to be honest, to not have too much color here. And yes, then I got. Like this is actually for me as a person who loves uh, sweets, the most important thing to have these ones because you know when you want to eat tiramisu, when you eat, want to eat your um, pat something you got from the patisserie, you better have them. And this is the only non-kitchen thing I got. So I have a scissor because this is a proper household now, so I need this. These ones are very, very important because my skirts and shorts were hanging around here because um, I didn't have anything. And this thing here, these are like cinnamon rolls from Ikea and I love to get um, sweets from Ikea because it's like Scandinavian stuff you cannot find everywhere so let's check this. Mm, I don't know if they taste better than in any other random supermarket to be honest. But maybe you cannot find them everywhere. No, it's okay. Good morning, everybody. It's 4.30 a.m. I'm at an airport and the only person that is here anywhere, like there's nobody here. When I arrived 10 minutes ago, the airport was not even opened yet. And uh, yeah, now... <laughs> I'm at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. I'm, I need to go home. I want to see my family and I will have to get some new stuff as well. You know, some winter clothing, some coats. I need to get my Dries van Noten coats. So many things now that I moved to the new apartment. I look, oh my God, I look horrible. I came with an Uber because I was scared that there would be a rush. Yeah, not really. Um, I have now like almost three hours to wait for my flight because I don't know if it's the same in the US but in Europe this year it's been like horrible when it comes to uh, uh, airports I mean like you could have been like five hours early at the airport and missed your flight because there was such a rush and since tomorrow is bank holiday in Paris and in France I thought it's definitely going to be here the same uh, now I'm here like nobody's here I don't know what to do now there's not even a place to get coffee. I'll probably sit here. Um, yeah, and I didn't take a day off. That means I'll be home at around 9 a.m. and then start working. Yeah, it's not easy. 
it's not easy. Let's look at what snacks we can get. Might get some snack. So I'm back in Germany and what for for what other reason than my doctor's appointments can I be here? <laughs> no, I've seen my family yesterday. It's so cool to be back. It's funny because I think it's been like two months since I've been here, but it already feels a bit uh, like I'm in a foreign city. I know. I don't know. It's weird. Um, I got my osteopathy uh, pain therapy. I don't know if you know what it is, but it's like helping you with like nerves pain and muscle and everything it's the best thing I've ever done and um, also, like do some research when it comes to osteopathy because it's insane then I had my dentist appointment I have to say no matter how much I love the French attitude and vibe and everything it's not the doctors that I mostly trust to and also because the health insurance the safety system is a bit weird there like you have an insurance but you have to um, you have to pay everything in advance and then you need to receive it back it's super weird but this morning the good thing is in France it's bank holiday today so this is why I'm free today and um, now I'm picking up my very best friend Lida that I miss so much and I will get a bit emotional right now because we didn't talk too much uh, when I was in Paris because I'm not a huge phone caller and she neither and when we have a phone call it's like four hours super exhausting and now i'm gonna see her for coffee maybe eat something because again i realized i didn't eat anything and it's 12 a.m uh yeah this is the plan and right now i'm cruising through dusseldorf uh, no it's cute here i don't know it's cute when you do it well done yeah because usually in France they, they don't really understand when you say well done it's just like well so no so they like it very raw here yes every normal people so my dad is my low sense here with essence and cochon is kind 